The VR battle between Oculus Rift and HTC Vive is well underway and many people would argue that despite the higher price tag, the Vive is absolutely crushing it. Primarily thanks to a few things, some blunders on Oculus' side, some good moves on uh, HTC and Valve's side and of course the room scale for the Vive is a huge selling point. I've had people say that you know they have access to both, they've tried both. It's just not the same without room scale. I myself have yet to try a Vive. I've only tried the Oculus Rift development kit too, sadly. But that is what many people have been saying, and I can kind of see why that is. You know, the ability to like you know hold up your hand and have a shield raise and stuff like that. That just has an entire new level of coolness to the whole thing. However, that may yet be changing as an update to Oculus Home is apparently prepping for the Oculus Touch's arrival and it also enable users to connect multiple Oculus camera sensors to enhance movement tracking and give devs access to highly precise room scale setups and of course the touch controllers are themselves room scale tracked motion controllers. Now the update does allow for up to four sensors to be connected, but it does seem that most developers are probably going to go to optimise room scales with just a pair of sensors, which makes sense as the touch controllers are expected to ship with just one additional infrared sensor included in the box. Now if you've used the Vive or had an experience of one or own one yourself, you'll probably know that the Vive setup is about 15 by 15 feet and it seems with the Oculus Touch it's going to be 4 feet apart from each other in front of the user. So while you don't get as much of a sort of sprawling space, it's going to also decrease the setup time in theory as well. Again, haven't used either device if you count the consumer version of the Rift. However, as cool as this sounds that Oculus are finally sort of entering the fray with room scale, it is very important to note at the moment, this may change, it may not, they don't even sell the camera sensors separately right now. So the only way you can even try this is if for some reason you have a load of spare headsets sitting around, like four of them sitting around with their included sensors or a touch developer. So just wait for the touch controllers and apparently they will be happening by the end of the year and hopefully Oculus see sense and also sells the camera sensors separately for people who want to try room scale or may even just like include a, a couple with the controllers rather than just the one that, that you have with it or whatever. You know, I'm sure they're planning something like this. It would be silly to not include that because if they're going to be like, hey, you can do room scale, but you need a bunch of spare headsets sitting around because reasons, that makes no sense at all. So I think it's going to be more likely that either that you can buy some sort of bundle where you get the touch controllers with the extra sensors or you can just buy the sensors separately or what have you. Fingers crossed that these uh, touch controllers do actually come out by the end of the year because again, at the moment you can only buy a Rift with the Xbox One controller, that's all it comes with. Of course, you know, I'm sure you're welcome to use like a keyboard and mouse or whatever, but there is no VR specific controller with it at the moment. And of course that's a huge advantage for the Vive, that they have their own VR ready touch controllers and they're a huge part of the experience from what I've been reading and watching on YouTube. So they kind of need to hurry up, you know, by the end of the year it's still pretty damn slow given the Vive launched with theirs months ago now. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I mean, would this be enough to perhaps entice you over to Oculus? I would imagine that for a lot of people, it depends on like how does it compete with the uh, with the Vive room scale. Is, you know, is it as good? Is it as sensitive? You know, how's the setup? How are the controllers? That sort of thing. I think the proof is going to be in the pudding for this. It might be enough to tempt some people over, but to be honest, I don't know. I feel like they they bumbled a lot. They're going to have to do a lot to win people's trust back. Adding room scale is definitely something to improve the Oculus's rifts sort of value proposition in comparison to the Vive, so his fingers crossed that it works out for them, as at the moment Vive has been absolutely crushing Oculus in the uh, virtual reality sort of conversation, I guess you could say. Thank you very much for watching though guys, I hope you enjoyed it, as always do like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, it's very much appreciated, it does help out a great deal, and I'll see you next time.